Okay, in this one, we're going to test this compressor to failure. See, I've already warmed it up quite a bit. I'm uh, cooling down the uh, internal overload on the back side of this thing. And we're going to run this thing locked rotor, uh, no start caps, just uh, run cap start. And we're going to keep running this thing until it uh, gives up. Okay, note how short a time it takes until this thing starts to really smoke. Okay, and you can hear the uh, internal overload kick that thing off. It took quite a while to kick that thing off, so uh, I don't know. Okay, what I want you to see here, after a couple of shots of this thing uh, running for a few seconds, you can see what's happened to the windings. You compare them to those windings before, uh, where the coating looked pretty good. This looks pretty ugly. Boy, I don't know, that's... Uh, that's pretty terrible. That stuff is getting real soft and it's probably just going to burn off here right quick. So I just wanted to show you what these windings looked like before we overheated them. I uh, can see how clean the insulation is compared to that rumpled look that it has now. Okay, I'm continuing to uh, run this thing until the internal overload kicks off. Uh, I think at one time the breaker kicked off because uh, 50 amp breaker and we're running about 115-120 amps. Uh, but uh, I have been cooling down the uh, internal overload uh, to try it again. Uh, so I'm kind of fooling it a little bit. Uh, but you know it goes an awful long time before it kicks off. It's going probably 15 20 seconds uh, before it shuts off and there's a lot of damage can happen to those windings in that uh, that period of time uh, and it's just about ready to to do its thing here uh, where it's going to short out this is uh, snap crackle pop time and so on like that uh, and uh, here right quick it's going to catch on fire There you go. We've had a short. It is extremely hot right now. Uh, I'll kind of show you how hot it is here in a minute. Uh, you can see uh, with the fire and we put uh, water on it now that this thing has gotten extremely hot. Uh, this only kicked off the breaker once and took quite a while to kick off that internal overload. Uh, I did kind of fool it because I cooled it down too much. But uh, these things should not be run uh, with uh, under uh, lock rotor conditions uh, because they will fail. And this is a pretty good example of uh, catastrophic failure.